Don Lee, who has been a tuk-tuk driver in Cambodia's capital for the past 10 years, depends entirely on the income he earns from his fares, even though he risks danger from the coronavirus pandemic. The 40-year-old father of two says he uses masks and hand sanitizers to protect himself and his family from the virus. But he doesn't know how effective they are. Following the advice from the Ministry of Health, I use soap and alcohol to clean. After my clients pay me, I spray alcohol on my hands and the money I have just received. And then I spray the back seats with alcohol. The novel coronavirus disease, or COVID-19, broke out of Wuhan, China in December 2019 and has now quickly spread globally. In Cambodia, more than 100 cases have been reported. The country has closed schools, banned foreign nationals from entering, and adopted preventive measures such as wearing masks, washing hands, and practicing social distancing. For some business owners whose livelihood depends on staying open, the preventive measures are their only protection. This is for hand sanitizing and this is for measuring body temperature. If the customer's temperature is more than 37.9 degrees Celsius, I ask them to sit down and recheck their temperature. If the temperature stays the same, I ask them to go to the hospital. If customers come to our shop without wearing a mask, we explain to them that we need to secure the safety of our staff and the customers themselves. We ask them to buy our 25 cent mask at the door, and if we are out of masks, we ask them to buy one at another store before we let them in our shop. While dozens of business owners have closed their shops in Phnom Penh to limit the chances of infection, many others cannot afford to do so. The World Bank reports that about 13% of Cambodians live in poverty, with little social insurance available and most of the population being self-employed. Many Cambodians are dependent on their daily income. For Don Lee, even parking his tuk-tuk at home poses a risk for his family. I'm scared of the virus, but if I don't make money, my wife and my kids have no rice to eat. I have to go out and take risks. For Pon Bupa and Kan Sukumano reporting in Phnom Penh, I'm Chatra Chap, VOA News, Washington.